Hey, how you doing? So it's been a year of this relationship on YouTube and I'm really happy you subscribed. But if you haven't, please do. I wanted to talk about and talk to young people. And for me, young people are under the age of 35. Actually, to be honest, I really believe it's under 30. But, you know, in this country we say under 35, so let's keep it there. But before I go into that, I, I, it worries me that young people and real young people, not wannabe young people, don't even know who they are. And the rest of us who are supposed to be focusing our efforts and our attention on, on the same segment of people are clueless. So um, I went through some of my notes from school and um, figured that I'd share some of the stuff I actually learned and understand. When it comes to young people, the real young people, there's about two billion of them globally. There is that many of you. Um, you have a potential $1.3 trillion in spending power. Yeah, so you're not um, a demographic to be ignored by anybody. You are very group oriented. Any communication you see where there's only a person uh, rings totally untrue, completely. Yeah, you're the only people who even when you're alone, you're connected. You're online with 200 other people, even if you're sitting in the loo. Um, you feel extra special and you're extra optimistic about the craziest of things. 78% um, of you want instant gratification. I, it's a fact. Actually, the Sandra report calls it, I want what I want, and I want it when I want it, and I want it now. Because that totally defines who you are. Um, you've got a new level of transparency. 75% of you will search for opinions on even a product online. You're the people who made TripAdvisor huge. Because it doesn't matter what, where we tell you to go, you will look for it. Um, Linda Nyangweso says it beautifully, and this is why I always tell people you've got to have an online presence. Because you're the only generation who believe and understand if you can't click on it it doesn't exist if you can't click on it it doesn't exist um, obviously you know uh, social media is important and um, it is said that Facebook is where I lie to my friends and Twitter is where I tell the truth to strangers and I think that's pretty true about young people and um, you are the experienced generation over 80% of you would rather buy a cool experience than a cool product. Which is why I still despair with KTB, with their Tembea Kenya. If you could just make local and domestic tourism exciting, there is a tribe of people who'd actually put money into all the right places. But then again, you still don't know this. Um, it's a generation that has one mantra, never before, never again. Um, you do a thing once. And I think that's why you all love things like Snapchat. You know, you do a thing once. Never before, never again. And also, and this I found very interesting, is that this is the only generation that truly, truly, truly um, do a thing. If you ask them, have you watched uh, Scandal, say, done that. Have you watched um, Quantico? They say, done that, you do a thing. So, um, so before I can open my mouth and say, you know, these are my feelings about young people in Kenya or anywhere else in the world, I, I thought it's very important that the definition of who these people are, and I think all of us are missing it, um, is, is out there. The single most prolific, powerful force is under the age of 30. Two billion globally with a potential 1.3 trillion dollars in spending power and oh yeah that's the other thing you vote with your dollars as well you vote with your dollars so yeah I thought I'd get that out of the way so share it just in case you meet people who have no idea who are you talking to my youths incidentally because I am that chick there's only youth there is no s at the end of youth in itself it is plural okay thank you it's like fish there are no fishes <laughs> There are many fish in the sea. There are many youth. They are not youths. Ah! Subscribe. Don't get me started on English. <laughs>